to the final trade of the day. Alan Nachman of Agora Financial joins us now. Alan, I hope you're doing very well and taking a look at that market. What do you think? Hello, Angela. Bull market boom baby. Optimism wins as we see stocks surge to new S&P highs. Alan, you have a number of trades you're tracking. Bring us up to date. Let's talk about current positions. August options expire on Friday. Oracle's now a dollar away from its highs. It's trying for that 100% profit. Not doing so well, we've got MU and Oxy. They're no good right now. For September, the JD position took a 50% gain yesterday uh, after making new highs there. So we've got Twitter, Cisco, and Snap. Now Snap is sideways in a very tight range. Look to see if you can break out and hit that 24 after 10 straight sessions going nowhere. October positions, we've got GDX. Let's talk about gold. Gold had a big profit taking unwind last week, but it's back above $2,000 an ounce once again. That shows the power of options. The GDX option yesterday was a very close to break even after all of that action. And that shows the strengths of using this option strategy. This week, you are taking a look at a tech stock for us today. What do you see in HP? Our trade trigger for today, Hewlett Packard pullback. Now this stock had been rallying off its lows. It had been going from 12 to 18 for five months. That targets 24 on this breakout. Now it's come back to its breakout point around this 18 level. It's still 25% off its highs from February. So a lot of catching up to do in this stock that has not performed in 2020, whereas the rest of tech has taken off. So we're looking at the play there, the November 15 call. 15 is the midpoint of the action, again, 12 to 18. The October, the November option, sorry, November option has three months of time and we can look for some bullish development there and some catch up. What are your trading day takeaways? Trading floor takeaway number one, V me. Now we were patient. It took some time. We got a complete comeback in the S&P, a rally recovery to new highs. That's a big, big statement to rally back from that beaten down. Number two, down in distance. The February, March uh, fall was 1,200 points in the S&P. Again, the S&P is what you score uh, when you're looking at the stock market. 1,200 points and a full comeback from that fall. So that means number three, the rocket target. 1,200 points on that old top at 3,400. That targets 4,600 in the S&P. Now that's 35% above. It's done that in every time in market history until it doesn't. Thank you, Alan, as always, for that trader talk. Thank you. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.